Okay, so um, this is a guide on how to import export cause from AEW Fight Forever. Um, this is my third attempt at recording this, so if I sound a little like I'm trying to rush through it, it's because I am. Um, I keep having interruptions or unexpected issues that came up, so if this doesn't work, um, you're only getting a written tutorial. Um, written tutorials right here you can refer to any time that I'm posting on Nexus and we're gonna follow that right now. So first up is prepping our files. So we're gonna take this cost save modding zip I provide and then we're going to open ue4ss.zip and then we're going to navigate to the aw root folder aw5 forever binaries win64 and extract all of those contents into this folder this will install ue4ss hook onto your game um, next up we are going to browse to the game save folder so in windows explorer type percent local app data percent slash aw fight forever you'll be brought to app data local aw fight forever um, save games and then here is all your wrestler saves um, back up UGC team and all the UGC wrestler files so we're going to copy those to another folder back those up short explanation of your um, cost save files UGC wrestler content one contains no cause but it contains all your AEW presets um, and then each uh, UGC wrestler after that contains five cause per save um, this is an issue um, if you want to freely import export so we need UE4SS to not only um, split them up but also merge them we have to do a database clean before every time we import CODs so that involves merging all your CODs into one file and then importing the new CODs and then splitting them up again into one CAD per save file and that will ensure adding will work um, you can't re-import the same car twice. Um, by that I mean each car save has an eternal ID baked into it and if you try to import one that has the same ID it won't work. Um, you can duplicate them though to create a new ID which is how you export. But if you want to re-import on one with an ID already in the game you have to delete it first then import it. Anyway that's not important right now. So I'm going to launch AEW with the mod launcher and I'm going to show you my cards. As you can see here my game crash um, if your game crashes it's not probably not because you did something wrong um, UE4SS just has a chance to randomly crash the game always so just hit OK and relaunch your game and you should be able to eventually break past that wall if not delete the cache folder. So here is my uh, car table of contents. I have 18 currently to show off to you guys. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add some cars that Raining King sent me for my save, which he is going to release publicly soon as well. I just don't know when. Um, he made Gunther and Seth Rollins for me here as well. Um, I made the mods, he made the cop profiles, movesets, stats, stuff like that. All of that transfers over if the original save creator does it. So if you don't want to run RT, find a save creator who will, get him to send your save. Um, one thing I also want to show you here is I have a couple presets. I have one for Christian, which I told you is stored in UGC Wrestler 1. So as long as this Christian preset is still here when we're done, then I did it right. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is merge all our CODs into one save file to clean up the database and get rid of redundant, empty CODs, data, stuff like that. Pretty easy. So first, we're going to go into our COD table contents. Okay, so now that I'm here, we're going to activate UE4SS and to do that, hit Control o 
on the game window. You should see something flash or it even comes up. Alt tab and you should find Dewey 4 SS debugging tools. You have this window. Click live view. And in live view search bar we're going to type creation settings. No space. And then it should be the second last result. You're looking for creation settings slash script slash creation default creation settings. Mouthful. Um, scroll down and you should have all the variables that that class contains. And we can freely edit them now. So first, we're going to change Edit Wrestler Multiple Save Mode to False by right clicking on True and typing in False with a capital F, hit Apply. That will tell the game cause should be saved to one file only. So what we're going to do, open a random call and then just hit, hit finalize to refresh all the COD data in your game. COD saves are dynamic so every time you do a save it runs through all of them. And then we're going back to our save games folder and you'll see a brand new UGC wrestler.sav file which is bigger than everything else because it contains all of our CODs. So I assumed you backed up your CODs so delete the rest of the UGC wrestlers. Now I'm going to import some CODs Raining Ken sent me. Um, preview of what he's got coming up. I'm going to import Jimmy, Jimmy and Jay and Solo and Jay White because I know I don't have those CODs in my game so there won't be any conflicting issues. I have a Ray, I have a Triple H, I have a Seth, I have a Roaming, I have a Jake which may or may not be the same idea as his but I'm just going to play it safe and just import these four. So 18 plus 4, I should have 22 when all is said and done. So next I'm going to go into my cost save modding zip and drag and rename save to my save games folder. And if your creator renamed their UGC wrestlers with the wrestler name, running rename save.bat should order them from 2 to whatever the next numbers come in order of how many saves there are. Next we're going to rename UGC wrestler to underscore one that will ensure our presets get kept. Okay, so control O back into the or alt tab back into the UE4 debugging. Edit wrestler multiple save mode. We're going to edit that and set it to true, back to true, so it uses multiple saves. And edit wrestler save num per file, we're going to set to one. Now to keep this consistency, you're probably always going to want to put it at one to ensure success. And you'll split every call back into its own file, makes them shareable, makes them readable easier, organizable, maybe up to you. Um, return to the title screen and just simply load back into the game and then go back to your save games folder and monitor it. So you watch as it does the red thing our cards are now split up into individual files. So we have 23 so you will always have one more save than you have cause because UGC Wrestler 1 doesn't contain cause so it starts to count at 2. So now I have 23 saves so that means I have 22 cause in my game. So we're going to check that to see if all four of those guys imported. Now if we look here, I have Jimmy, I have Jay, I have Solo, and I have Jay White. Obviously there's no Jay White model because I don't have the mod pack, but I have Jimmy and Jay because I have those mod packs in my mod folder. Um, so from here you can keep the cause as they are, and then skip to step uh, the final step in the written tutorial, which I will also do in this video, or you can you know, move these around, duplicate their move sets to someone else, blah blah blah. So let's assume I had another JY and I copied his move set to my JY and now I don't need this one anymore. I'm gonna have to delete this one. So now I don't need that JY anymore. So now if I go in my save games folder um, you'll see one of the wrestler files has been emptied but it hasn't been deleted and this can cause problems for the future when you're running out of space 
it because uh, it does not read more to pass more than one, 99 save files. So, what I'm going to do now is let's just delete another. Um, let's delete solo. So now, go move. Uh, I also deleted solo. See that? Um, so moving on from here, it's kind of hard to um, keep playing and assume everything's going to work out. So every time you do some bulk deleting in your game, I recommend doing another database database cleanup and resplit. So we're going to do that right now. So we have 20 cards, which should end up with 21 saves. So hit Control O to bring back up the debugging tools. And then change creations, uh, edit multiple rests or save back to false. We're going to do the whole dance again. We're going to save Gunter, which will remerge our save file. UGC rest.sav. And then we're going to delete the rest. Rename this guy to UGC wrestler1. Go back in the debugging tools, set this back to true, and reload our save. So we had 22, we deleted 2, so we should have 20 cars now. So going back into our save games folder. We have 21 save files, which is exactly what I wanted. The empty redundant ones are seem to be gone. And then, if we go back in here, we will see 20 cards, just like we had it before. No solo and no JY. Okay, so we are not done yet. If you look at UGC Wrestler 1, it did not debloat it. It still has all the merged data from before, which can cause conflicts. But we want to keep our presets. So here's what we do. We're going to browse to a preset, which I have on Christian Cage. Not going to do anything yet. We're going to delete UGC Wrestler 1 with all the merged data. And then hit finalize on our preset and it will create a brand new one with a small file size containing only the AW wrestler data that we need. Now from here on, you're pretty much done, but there's still some final steps to do. So here's where I say doing the cleanup, which is what we just did. And now we can exit AEW, so I'm going to Alt F4. Now what you want to do is to make sure the game will always properly read the split wrestler files is you will go to your mods folder in content packs mods place cost splitter p in there that will make sure that the game every time you make a new wrestler it will make a new save every time you duplicate it will make a new save and you won't have to set it back to one when you redo the guide. So just to be sure, just to uh, make it known, every time you import cards, you have to do merge split, import, merge split, if you want to keep it clean and successful. So that's why I recommend only importing in bulk. So um, I have some samples here you'd all import at once. Do the merge, add these, do the split, you have your save. Um, another thing is how to export. So to export, um, it's pretty easy. Once we have the, uh, once we have the splitter mod in, we're going to launch the game again. Actually, see it caused a crash because UE4SS. To export, we do not need UE4SS activated. So I'm actually going to go and double click disable UE4SS and launch the game again. So I'm back in the game and um, I'm wanting to export one of my cut profiles. So um, 
If I press Control O, nothing's happening because UE4 SS is no longer hooked. But we have the cough splitter pack in the mods folder. So to simply export, I recommend always keeping one slot free. So never have 100 over 100. Try 99 over 100. And then I'm going to go to Justin Roberts here. And actually not yet. I'm going to look at my save games folder. I see I have 21. I'm going to go Roberts here. Duplicate. And now I have a 20 second brand new save folder created after all these that I know is Justin Roberts. So I'm going to rename that UGC wrestler Justin Roberts and move that anywhere else on my computer. And then in game I'm going to delete the duplicate. And then it empties the folder. So we're not going to worry about re-merging cleaning the database now because it's just one empty. But every time you do a bulk import, you really need to do the merge and split or else it will just not work. Um, you can't just take the split and add more. You actually really have to do the merge and split. Um, but you don't have to do it after you export and delete and stuff. But as someone who likes to make sure their stuff is optimized, I do it every week or so. Just to keep my CAW data clean. Um, but that's really all there is. Um, there's a note here that if you want 100 CAWs, you'll have to delete the splitter, um, merge them all into one, and then use this CAW merge save file. I know this video wasn't as in-depth, so actually we're going to just... Yeah, show you that all the Jimmy and Jay are here, which I imported, and um, if you take a quick look at them, they come with all the data, the name data, profile data, um, move set. You can see as best he could have done. Entrance. They come with everything you need to have them in your game. So yeah, that's the guide. If you don't understand, I rushed through it. Sorry. Refer to written guide, trial and error. It works. It works. But if it's not working for you, no matter how much you try, it's probably something like a bad save corruption, a bad merge, something like that. I don't know. But I know the guide as I make it has worked for me and worked for someone else. So I don't think there's any more support I can give other than you are doing something wrong.